<laughs> all right so what we're going to make here is a uh, actually a disney favorite particularly a favorite of mine when we're in uh in disneyland it's a non-alcoholic mint julep so normally you get this at uh in new orleans square uh and this recipe is courtesy of the matic hammers group um and so effectively what we have here is we have a simple syrup with mint leaves that have been uh, steeped in it so these are mint leaves fresh from from the garden and the simple syrup for this one here in particular is it's one cup of water, one cup of white sugar, brought to the boil. And then um, once it's been brought to the boil and it's all dissolved, it's then getting the mint leaves uh, washed, obviously, and then picked from the stems and uh, put in there. So that's about 10 bunches that have been cut from the, um, uh, from, from the garden and then put in there. And you can actually see in there below it, there's actually a bit of color, a bit of a green color to the, to the uh, the syrup and it also tastes amazing so it's got like a little nice minty uh, smell to it it does call for a cup of lemon juice so I've got some fresh lemons that we're going to squeeze and then also ginger ale not dry ginger ale but actual ginger ale so this is Canada dry so you can either buy this at Costco in the case or in Coles if you go into where the, um, in the international foods are where the American foods are you'll actually see it should see it on the shelf next to the uh, to the A and W root beer, etc. So you'll see it there. Um, fantastic stuff, particularly if you're uh, if you're over 18. Um, have this with your uh, with your favourite dark rum, spice rum, Sailor Jerry, Mount Gay, um, Kraken, one of those uh, with uh, dry ginger with this ginger ale, not dry ginger ale, and you'll thank me later for it. Um, also very good for helping settle the stomach as well uh, for it or just a nice drink by itself over ice for those under 18. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make up the uh, this kind of, we're going to see how we go with it. So it's a bit of an experiment. We've got our cup, our measuring cup. This one here I like it because it actually has all the measurements as we go up. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to pour the simple syrup into the cup and then we're going to juice these, basically just put everything in, blitz it up and let's see how we go, whether we get the, uh, get the flavours. So, uh, let's go. So we're going to strain in the mint simple syrup, in it goes. And look at that colour. Nice little drops out. Squeeze every last little bit of flavour. And look at that colour. Let me see it better from the top. It's got a nice sheen to it, and that's all the mint flavour and the mint oil now infused into that, that simple syrup. Now I need to cut our lemons. Get my knife off to the side. So fresh lemons, not the not the commercial lemon juice, you know, so you get the lemon flavour juice that you generally find in the herb aisle um, because, yeah, it's got preservatives in it and that's not what you want, you want as fresh as possible and these are, mmm, they smell really, really nice and then we squeeze them the old fashioned way this is a family heirloom, this is my, this is my grandparents originally, excuse me my glass, got to be careful with it. You can also get these in plastic where they've got the, uh, the jug in the bottom and it kind of captures the juice. This style. Basically you just get half a lemon or half a, uh, an orange in there. I might just have to get my strainer back. Might get some chips in there. There we go. And we're just going to do three. These are medium sized lemons, lots of juice. The rind's actually nice and thin on these, so sometimes you get the large lemons. And with the large lemons, they have quite a thick, quite a thick rind. But 
these quite a thin rind they've got lots and lots of juice and lots of pips as well there we go, nearly done That's all the lemons. So that's where we're at. And now the final bit. The can is dry. You can see the colour is starting to, to change and Canada Dry is known as the uh, Champagne of Ginger Ales and as you can see it foams up quite a bit. Let's put a little one in, next one in a little less aggressive. It's got a nice colour to it. Get a swizzle stick. Give that a good, good stir through. This used to come green when you bought it at Disneyland, but uh, I was just green food dye that they were using for it. And as with everything, what we want to do is have a little, little taste. Yum. Slight minty, mintiness in there, beautiful flavour, and then we serve this over ice.